first YouTube video um, installing the crank I already did so you missed half of it I'll show you how to close up the cases install the transmission so basically first thing for the crank froze the crank and uh, just sort of pressed it in there heated up the bearing a little bit I didn't use any kind of force just my hand pushing it down inside there it fit pretty good sometimes you have to use a tool whatever so bearing same way froze the bearings heated up the case drop the bearings in but you want to be careful because in this model the seals come in from the back side so they have to be in there while the bearings getting put in so when you're heating it up with that seal in there you don't want to melt it or anything like that so make sure everything's nice and well lubed very important they say install the transmission in one piece but it's easier for me to do it the way I figured it out and uh, I already got the shift drum installed so we'll just go from there I have the shift fork rods out it, so yeah I'll show you how it goes Okay, so once you get it put in, you see the grooves that the little knobs match up into. So you can lift it, mess around with it until you can get it right. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work, sometimes they slip right in. You take your long one for the one that has two, and you just sort of work it until you get it in there. And you don't want to put force on anything but everything should go fairly easy once it's all lined up and transmission should spin freely but there's one step that I didn't do yet that I'm going to after I get this one in there correctly okay there I finally set in clean my hand off so. I don't know if you can see this, but on one of the sides, it takes a needle bearing and I put it in there. Sometimes it can be tricky to do, sometimes not. And I personally like to take my little circlip and install it so it doesn't go nowhere. Okay, now that I got my hands slightly wiped off and no focus on my damn camera. There we go. So better. Transmission should spin freely. You're not going to be able to necessarily shift it until you um, put the other side of the case on, which first make sure that the surfaces are nice and clean and smooth on both sides. And we're going to use some Yamabon for the Kawasaki for a liquid gasket around it no kids come with a gasket they don't make gaskets for this particular part in this particular part of the video it's probably going to be boring so uh, I'll fast forward it or edit it out or whatever it may be
and that noise you hear in the background, if I'm even still being heard, is a heater because it's cold in my shop. Okay, Yama Bond on. Uh, the only reason I use Yama Bond because a really, really good friend referred to me. Said it was really good stuff, so I trust him. Um, now, when I put this on here, you want to make sure everything's lined up and still functioning properly, all that good stuff. And um, also, you got to have a special tool to pull the case in, pull the crank out, as they say. 
they wanted to charge a hundred and something dollars I wanted to make it myself and save some money there you go under 20 bucks I'll show you how that works let me get it set up well I guess I can set it up but I gotta put the case on first Okay, so we're gonna start. We got two nuts, two washers, um, a threaded stud, and a pipe. Take the first bigger washer, put it on. We'll take one of these nuts, screw it in. We don't want to screw it in all the way, but we want some thread sticking out for our stud to catch. And we're gonna try and do this one handedly. So it's nice and snug. Then take your pipe, slide it over. Get your washer. You want a thick washer. You know, something that's not going to bend. This one's been bent before. Sort of makes it a pain in the ass. But you take your other nut, put it on top. Now, when you do this, like I said, you want to make sure everything is lined up perfectly. You don't want to be putting a lot of pressure on this and possibly break something. So I'm going to set you over to the side. You can watch it as it closes up. Also, I have this rag on my crank so it doesn't damage it. I'm going to hold on to that. For some reason it's not wanting to go down even, but it's still working just fine. As long as you catch it, you don't get one side torqued all the way down and this side sticking all the way up. So it's pretty even right now. Okay. And there you got it. Closed up nice and even. You make sure you got free play with your transmission still. And um, you can disassemble the tool. Take it off. Not. Nifty trick I learned when I was doing stuff. Um, putting bolts in, you got different sizes. Now it's not really that confusing where they go, but if you ever have any question, you can just know that, like, if you take one of these longer ish screws and put them in where they shouldn't go, then it'll stick up farther than the rest of them. But typically, all the screws should stick out the same so and actually that's the wrong one for that too they should all stick out about even and there you go it basically has it by the way there's a the bike I'm gonna torque these things down so it seals up with the Yamaha all right later